welcome back to my channel today we'll be doing another landscape tutorial because landscapes are my favorite apart from seascapes so today is sunday mother's day and i decided to paint a landscape i know it's not really mother's day related but you know you can paint with your mom today <laughs> so you both i mean both of you can have fun today and I decided to paint a greenish type of landscape, meaning I'm not doing any fall or autumn season or spring like cherry blossoms type of thing. It's just a normal green pathway um, uh, type of landscape. So let's begin it guys. And I'll be telling you first the colors that I'll be using for today's tutorial. Of course, we have lots of earth colors today. We have green oxide, phthalo blue, phthalo green, titanium white we have black burnt sienna and cadmium yellow so let's begin now i'm gonna sketch first my subject and i'm just gonna use a small angle brush in sketching it doesn't really matter what brush you use this is the sketching part so for the sketching i'm just gonna use my burnt sienna and let's do the sketching part so we'll be doing a pathway right here so like this since we are just sketching guys there is nothing final here it can change anytime but the general look of this painting will be this so if there are changes um those are minor changes all right and then we'll be doing some trees here and there. Oh, if you're hearing some like music playing in the background, um, I don't know a car with a huge, uh, with a large, or with a <laughs> with a what they call that, like volume upped speakers, um, just pass by. That's why. Anyway, so this will be the tree trunks like that. So the pathway will be like here and of course the foliage will be here. So basically you have an idea of how this is going to look like, right? So now let's proceed. <laughs> That's basically the sketch guys. Nothing complicated, nothing fancy. I didn't even use a pencil for that. So for the foliage, uh, all right, I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna do first the sky, all right? I'm just gonna do first the sky. As you can see, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do first the sky because it's, this paint is quite wet. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do first the road or the pathway. So for the pathway, I'm just gonna get my titanium white, lots of it, tiny bit of black to make it gray, like this color, tiny bit of blue, Yes, titanium blue. Oh, <laughs> pale of blue, guys. Oh my God, what's wrong with me? So this is like bluish grayish color, and we're just gonna apply that to underpaint the pathway, like this. It's been a while since the last time I did the tutorial. I think it's been three days. Usually, I do every day, right? Almost every day. But I chose to take a break. Um, and I had to focus on something else. So, yeah, that's why there's a huge gap uh, between today and the last time I did the tutorial. All right. I'm going to make it quite dark this side because it's not really receiving uh, enough light like that we'll be doing some shadows and light effects later we're just gonna allow this first to dry So we just underpainted the pathway. All right. Now I'm going to 
get my foliage brush again this is just a round stiff brush if you can see it's quite old the paint or some paints have dried so you can use a stiff brush an old brush anything that's quite stiff that you can use to create foliage like texture so i'm just going to use this to create foliage i'm going to get my phthalo green i'm going to dab on some black to it to make it quite dark so we're going to do first the depth of the foliage or the volume so i'm just going to dab it onto dark green and let's create some foliage by dabbing it on like this actually you can use uh uh, what do you call this a foam or a sponge sorry guys not a foam a sponge I'm using dark green guys almost black if you can tell this is to create um, foliage that is near the or that are near the viewer Of course, you have. Oh, I hope you're not hearing the noise in the background because there's a child, there's a kid, um, my neighbor's kid. All right, so we just did some depth right there. All right, now I'm gonna do some lighter green colors. I'm gonna get again my phthalo green. I'm gonna dab on some yellow or cat yellow to make some yellowish or yellow greenish colors but of course I'm not washing my brush so that the black paint uh, can still be seen I'm just gonna dab it on again to the spaces in between those dark greens Actually, the left side is quite brighter than the right side. That's why we did it quite dark here. Right, like this. Right. Now I'm going to get a darker shade of green, but not as dark as what we did here. So I'm just going to add maybe a um, tiny bit of black to create a darker version but a shade lighter than this one like that and I'm also gonna dab on some greenish color here um, to suggest grasses um, sidewalk uh, grasses is this a sidewalk uh, yeah near the sidewalk like that I'm gonna make some yellowish colors I'm just gonna dab onto my yellow without washing my brush I'm just gonna dab on some greenish uh, yellowish colors right here because the light is coming from the left side oh sorry the light is coming from the right side that's why it's hitting the left side this way it's quite light again some yellowish colors we will be going back to this area later to create some more light effects for now just uh, use yellow without washing your brush because um, the mixture of black and other greenish colors on your paintbrush makes your foliage more interesting and realistic there's no high or what do you call it super neon yellow in nature there's only muted yellow and light yellow, no neon yellows. Like that. 
I'm gonna dab on some dark greens. Like that. All right. And I'm just gonna allow that first to dry. Uh, we will be adding some more details later. Uh, we will just go to doing some tree trunks. So I'm just going to get my burnt sienna. I'm going to add a tiny bit of black. That's a lot of black actually. So burnt sienna plus black. I'm going to add a tiny bit of yellow to that. Alright, and let, let's create some tree trunks. So I'll be alternately using brown and black. And we will be highlighting some uh, tree trunks later. All right, so my neighbor is quite mm, making some noise. You can add water so that you can apply it quite smoothly. Right. Now I'm going to add a tiny bit of white to this color because as we go away, as we go away, uh, we do perspective by lightening some branches or some tree trunks to follow the rules of perspective. Just gonna get some light brown maybe I'm just gonna highlight some trees all right I'm gonna get some dark browns I'm gonna get my burnt sienna plus black. Let's create some branches right here or tree trunks. I'm gonna get my burnt sienna. To create some tiny branches in between the foliage. But of course, we will be adding some more volume to the foliage later. this all right now we before we do some volume 
I'm just gonna add some details on this area. I'm gonna get my white, I'm gonna get my burnt sienna like this. So it's like light brown, almost skin tone. And we're going to create some light effects. gonna add like more white to it to lighten um, or to lighten some areas to give more brightness all right wash it wash out I'm going to use a small round stiff brush to create some more light foliage. So I'm going to get, all right, I already ran out of yellow. So I'm just going to get my cadmium yellow or medium yellow if you have it. I'm just going to dab on some light yellows. Again, you can use your sponge for this. Let's go back to the foliage. Let's create some more light. Right here. that I'm gonna get my white all right wash wish out we have to remove that white because it makes any color um, really opaque so if we are doing some more dark um, dark foliage uh, we should remove the white I'm just gonna get my green oxide I'm gonna add burnt sienna to that to make it more a little more muted because burnt um, green oxide is already muted green but for purposes of uh, volume I'm just gonna add more muted green here and there I really like green oxide because it is the color of nature. All right, now I'm gonna dab onto my green again 
but this time I'm gonna be adding more black to create more I mean darker greens I can even mix some green oxide in there just to play with the colors and again simply dab on to create more volume And I'm going to leave it that way for now. Let's go back to this pathway. I'm just going to get my black. All right. And I'm going to get my burnt sienna like this. I'm going to add, I don't know, a tiny bit of blue. Thalo. I'm going to water it down and I'm going to glaze some dark colors on the pathway. Remember when I glaze guys, I use a lot of water and of course I use my fingers in applying it to apply or to get that correct blending or at least the blending that I really want for this. So by darkening it, you get that we get this. All right, like that. Okay, wash push out. Right. Now I'm gonna get my um, okay, burnt sienna plus black. Let's just create some more um, branches. Wash your brush out. Alright, and then I'm gonna make some more foliage. I'm washing it properly, my brush. All right, now I'm gonna have to dry this first because I don't want to add more details uh, wet on wet. So I'm just gonna use my hair dryer to dry it quickly. So now I'm going to go back to using my yellow, but this time I'll be adding a tiny bit of brown or burnt sienna to that. I want to tone down my yellow and add some brownish effect. So I'm just going to use this brownish yellowish color to go in between those green foliage. Here as well. Right here 
zo. Alright, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white to that yellow color that I have. Let's go and highlight some areas right here. Like that. Okay, wash your brush out. And I have to go back to doing some green foliage. So again, get your greeny color, maybe add a tiny bit of yellow. You can add burnt sienna to mute it down. And let's go and add some more greenish foliage. So the more you do this layering, the more your foliage will look um, more volume, oh, volumized, volumized. <laughs> So I'm going to add a tiny bit of white to my greeny color. I'm going to make some opaque green like this. I want to go right here to suggest presence of light as well. Hmm. kind of like this. All right, I'm gonna get some dark greeny colors. All right, like that. And then I'm gonna get some, um, okay, I'm gonna get my brown. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow like this, like this color. And I want to highlight some, mm -hmm. like trees. Especially this ones because perspective uh, following the rules of perspective they should be a little lighter I'm gonna add like more light highlights all right wash your out I'm gonna make some light brownie color and I will uh, apply that in between those tree trunks because we want to suggest that there's a like beach part in the background. But only suggestion, guys. All right. Let's make some light blue. Like this. Sky blue. And let's apply that again. To suggest some sky in the background. Like that. Some suggestion of sky. Like that. <laughs> and I'm going to use this blue color to apply it quite um, slightly on the pathway to suggest like that. 
uh, it's so hard to explain guys but I think you know what I mean some blurriness um, because the light is heating the pathway so it's like this all right it's nice all right again I'm just gonna get my black plus brown let's make some more detailing Just outline those trees, guys. Make some branches. like that you know very suggestive all right now I'm gonna get some dark greens and let's make some dark grasses suggestions of dark grasses or plants were um, or these grasses or plants are not really receiving light. That's why they should be dark. And in between those tree trunks, there should be some light grasses or plants. So I'm just going to get my light yellows. I'm going to dab on. Again, we are doing the in-between grasses. So we should actually highlight it. like that I'm gonna add white to make it more uh, highlighted here so I'm just gonna dab on randomly some white um, paints like that let's get some greens and a tiny bit of black to create some more dark greens maybe add some blue and then yellow oh the white is actually mixing it it's actually adding some all right that this green Just dab. Right. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow. more yellow
like that okay and then I'm gonna highlight the the farthest point of my pathway so I'm just gonna get my white and I'm gonna glaze I'm just gonna use my white and make some applications like this to make the pathway quite bright as I go farther and I have to make some highlights in between those trees And I'm just going to define some shadows and lights. So I'm just using light brown to create some light effects. All right. Again, I'm just going to use my brown and black. And let's go and outline the pathway I'm going to create some suggestion of grasses as well going to use black to darken or to deepen some areas this is nice I'm gonna get my blue and black mixture let's just try to make it more shadowy like that Okay, I'm gonna get my white, pure white, but of course the green is mixing, but it's alright, as long as the white is a dominant color. And I'm gonna try to make some areas quite light. I'm gonna dab on slightly, alright? Do not overdo this step. You may or may not do this because it may ruin your painting if you do this too much. So I'm just gonna highlight some areas. As you can see, I'm dabbing it ever so slightly. I'm not even planning to do a lot of um, this. This is just to suggest some in-between spaces. Like that. Okay, that's nice. 
I'm gonna wash my brush out and I'm gonna get my white again pure white I want to go in between those tiny spaces I think I want to add some more foliage. Here. I feel like it's quite empty like that. to do some foliage on the pathway right so I'm gonna make it quite brownish since they are fallen leaves I'm gonna try to make some suggestion of fallen leaves right here are fallen leaves like that I'm going to use the same dark color to add more depth. Like that. All right, this is nice. I think this is nice, right? Okay. So I'm going to get some burnt sienna. All right, I'm gonna use my burnt sienna to make the pathway quite brownish. So I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of it. I'm gonna use a lot of water and I'm just gonna go over this area like this. I hope you saw what I did there. Just add burnt sienna plus water. I want to make it quite brown to suggest more natural effects. Okay, I'm gonna get my black. So I'm just adding some roughness um, to the pathway. Okay, I'm gonna 
to get my black. All right, I'm just going to add Suggestion that the pathway is a two-way pathway. So I need to correct this one because I, I um, got it wrong. Just going to get my blue and my black. It's going to make it quite continuous like this. I'm going to get my white and I would like to glaze this part. This is nice. All right. So I think I have to sign this now because this is nice already. I'm going to get, of course, my white or light blue as long as it's visible against these colors right here. So I'm just going to sign it now. Oh, let's check. <laughs> All right. So I'm not going to write my surname initial. So it says Chet and we're done. We're done! Yay! Yay! We're done. It's good. Yay! Guys. So we're done, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you did this one. And see you in my next video, guys. Happy Mother's Day, everyone! Mm -hmm.